Hello and welcome all in this video. So we are going to discuss about the migration of birds. We see that the number of birds travel here and there in the air and we got pleasure to see them because of the gift of wings. Birds conveniently exploit two different parts of the earth. As the birds are called as the master of air and cover a far long distance to get their destiny, the man having the curiosity about their migration. But the problem of migration have puzzled a man ever since prehistoric times when he started watching the flights of birds. So the, some questions are raised in the mind that what the purpose of migration? First of all, what is the purpose of migration? Second one, how do migratory birds find their way? Next one is the what was the original cause of migration? Then what is the stimulus to start migration? Then one of the question, what is the advantage of migration? Some other question that is how are long the flights of many species sustained? Many of these problems have been solved by the modern scientist. So in this video, we will discuss about all that problems and aspects about the migration. In this video, we will uh, discuss about or focus on kinds of migration, focus on kinds of migration that is the types of migration. So in case of birds, what is migration? It is a periodic passing of animals from one place to another. That is, animals can move from one place to another that is called as a migration. Migration is a process by which the animal can travel, can move from one place to another. That is a migration. So in case of birds, birds also migrate. They can travel from one place to another. Then the bird migration is like that of the other animals. It is a two-way journey. It is a two-way journey. Bird's migration is a two-way journey. It's a regular periodic movement of some of birds between summer and winter. It is a periodic and regular movement of in case of some birds between their summer and winter homes or from breeding place to their feeding place or from nesting place to their resting place. That is the movement from breeding place to feeding place and from resting place to nesting place. This can be takes place regularly. That is some of the species of the birds can migrate regularly year after year. Then about the types of migration. In that first type, latitudinal migration. Latitudinal migration means migration from now north to south and south to north or north to south and vice versa. That is migration from north to south and south to north. That is vice versa. Migration, this takes place continuously. That is called as a latitudinal migration that is the latitudinal migration from north to south and from south to north the birds move during summer over the temperate and subarctic region of northern hemisphere where there are facilities for feeding and nesting this is one of the popular type of migration latitudinal migration the bird move during summer over the temperate and subarctic -ar region of northern hemisphere where there are facilities for feeding and nesting where there there is having a favorable condition for living and for feeding so they can move towards that particular area the birds return to the south then they return to the south for shelter during winter when north is covered with ice and snow Whenever the north is covered, again with the ice and snow, they return towards their south. 
side or south towards the south side of the earth several north american eurasian birds cross the equator also and spend winter in deeper and warmer parts of south america and africa here are information that several north american and eurasian birds cross the equator to spend winter in deeper and warmer parts of south america and africa in case of latitudinal migration some of the example some of the species like american golden plover american golden plover plover that, that is the name of the bird that is having a scientific name fluvialis dominica passes the nine months of winter about 8000 miles south in the pampas of argentina it is one of the species which can travel about 8000 miles and comes to south in the pampas of argentina and another one species having a name some birds of siberia some birds of siberia visit the plains of himalayas in india and opposite but laser movement occurs in the southern hemisphere where the seasons are reversed whenever there is a condition uh, unfavorable for the living for the feeding the birds can move birds can migrate so here another example some birds of siberia siberian birds visit the plains of himalaya in india and then they can travel towards the southern hemisphere where the seasons season is become favorable to live there then second type of migration that is called as longitudinal migration longitudinal migration that is a migration from east to west and west to east that is called as a longitudinal migration migration from east to west and west to east that is called as a long, uh, longitudinal migration which is also well known migration example the starling is the name of the bird starling move from breeding area in east europe or asia towards the atlantic coast atlantic coast there is starling moves from east side east europe or asia towards the atlantic coast to avoid the continental winter to avoid the winter to avoid the harsh condition this bird can travel can move from east towards west side of the east west side and from west then goes towards the east side whenever there were favorable condition this occurs third type of migration which is called as altitudinal migration altitudinal migration means again vertical migration altitudinal migration means vertical migration there are having some large mountains large mountains are found in temperate region there are there were large mountains in the temperate region and some birds migrate regularly this is a regular migration migrate regularly up and down their slopes up and down movement up and down movement of the mountains large mountains that is called as the altitudinal or vertical migration as the weather changes they can change they can move from upper side towards downward and from downwards towards upward of that mountains only up to this migration is a limited migration which is limited uh, up to the limited journey the birds passes the summer in the mountain region but return to the low land in winter whenever there is a condition it changes that is they can pass towards the pass towards the mountain regions at the time of summer and towards the low land low land when when there is a uh, winter occurs again altitude migration it is merely dispersal or short journey uh, as already said that it is a short journey short journey from the bleaker slopes towards the more protected valleys 
it occurs in some bird species like grapes and uh, it occurs around the grapes and coats of andes in argentina some example the species are like violet green swallows of great britain violet green swallows of great britain can uh, trek this journey of altitudinal migration or vertical migration now the fourth type of migration that is called as partial migration partial migration that is many species of temperate region are only partial migrants some are partial migrants they can uh, move for a particular distance that is in case of barn owl taito alba blue birds blue birds and many blue jays of canada and northern united states can travel southwards to mingle with the sedentary population of the southern states this is a type of migration which is a partial migration partial migrants cat is a, like a species barn owl or blue birds or blue jays can travel can cover a particular region of the that particular migration which is a partial one example again there is having a song thrush or a red bra red breast tight tit mouse finch these are some another example belong to the partial migration they can also follow the partial ma migration they can represent partial migrant these are also representative of the partial migrants as the birds seen in winter are not the same as seen in summer so this is another another some example belonging to the partial migration then again there is having a type that is called as irregular migration or vagrant migration irregular migration not regular in some birds such as herons after breeding the adults and the young may stray from their homes to disperse in all direction in all direction not a particular direction they disperse in all direction over many or few hundred miles in search of food and safety from enemies they can migrate in search of food and safety from enemies but this migration is not a regular year after year but this is irregular migration that is vagrant migration some sometimes some sea birds are go away as far as 2000 miles from home uh, home seas to drop exhaustive or to die on unfamiliar shores some are some sea birds can travel in such a way that they cannot return to their homes and they can die there also in unfamiliar shores this type of our type of migration is also irregular migration that is not a regular not a fix and not a particular they can cannot visit to a particular area that is irregular migration can also followed by some of the birds like sea birds some heroines like birds can follow irregular or vagrant migration so we are discussing about different types of migration that is we are already discussed about altitudinal migration then horizontal migration vertical migration then irregular migration these are some types of migration which is found in case of birds again here are about the seasonal migration number 6 type of migration which is called as a seasonal migration whenever there is a harsh condition whenever unfavorable condition is found where they are in the in the, to, to that bird they can start their migration that is seasonally some birds can seasonally migrate seasonally migrate that is seasonally migration seasonally migrate some birds are like in britain swift or swallows swift or swallows type of birds or nightingale or cuckoos these are 
summer visitors these are summer visitors they arrive in spring from the south and remain to breed and live the north in autumn that is this type of migratory birds we can also see seasonal migratory birds are found in india also in this there are having some species like swifts swallows nightingales and cuckoos these birds are called as summer visitors they arrive in spring from the south and remain to breed and live the north remain up to the breeding they can lay eggs and then live towards the now the autumn then some of the birds like field fair snow bunting and a red wing type of birds are winter visitors these are winter visitors as they arrive in autumn chiefly from the north stay throughout the winter and fly northwards again in spring some of the birds like snips and snapped pipers sand pipers snips and sand pipers seen for a short time twice a year on their way to colder and warmer countries in spring and autumn these are also some of the birds which are uh, seasonally migratory birds so there are number of birds which are seasonally migrate from one place to another place so these are about these all about the types of or kinds of migration in case of birds thank you